Hi. This is Dana with Designs by Dana. This is a destination crochet video. Today I sit in the hospital. Uh, my husband a couple of days ago had triple bypass surgery and he's doing well. You can see him right over there just a little bit. And um, just sitting here doing a working on a using grocery bags and uh, a lot of nurses and stuff come in the room and they look at what I'm doing and uh, so this time I'm working on a bag uh, and I'm using yarn which in the crochet world we call plarn for plastic uh, yarn and I just wanted to do a quick video on how I fold up uh, the bags, cut the bags, tie them together, uh, and then crochet it. And I'm sure there's lots of uh, videos on here on YouTube that will walk you step through step. I actually have one that's a step through step. But, um... Just thought this was really unique, and I'm always doing crocheting everywhere I go. So this is just another destination crocheting with uh, Dana. So let me position the camera, and then come back so you can see my hands at work. All right, so I'm just sitting here on the couch. But what I've done is I took one of my grocery bags. It's happens to be a Kroger's bag. I just got some little little bitty scissors because I left my scissors at home. So I just use what I have. But I take the bag and I pop the corners and then straighten out the bottom edge here. Fold it in half. <coughs> and squeeze out all the air. Fold it in half again. And if I can, I fold it one Come more in. time. Hold on a second. Okay, that was the nurse came into the room. So, got it all folded really tight. And then I cut off just the edge off camera. So now I'm just going to take about an inch at a time and cut. All the way down the folded bag. I have some better scissors. These are just my little snippers. But this is all I have at the hospital, so I have to use what I got. So this is how I'll do every bag. And then I'll show you how I connect them together. And when I get closer to the arms, I'll just do it right across the top of the arms. And then I throw this part away. You're the video. What? You're I throw the video. this part away. Oh, she Okay, so now in this bag are all those pieces. And I can just, I have three or four different colors, so it doesn't matter. I just pick them up at will. I open it up. Now I've run out on this one, so I'm going to start att attaching right to my project. Mm -hmm. What I do is I just stick, stick it through there. Mm -hmm. Fold it in half and pull and make a knot. Then I take the next one and I'll get another color. And I'll open it up. Remember, this is plastic garbage bags, grocery bags. <laughs> Can't open it. Opened it up. I take it and I pull it through the last one and make a loop and pull it till it makes a knot. A little too tight for a stretch. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Different color? Nah, keep on the same color. So I'm gonna pull it. I'm just gonna feed it through here. So the one I just finished. I'll pull it through. And then I pull it till it makes a knot. 
might not have seen that because I do it the, the fast way I do it without on slow motion without um, just trying to do it slow motion for you guys I just pull it through here and then grab the end and pull it through really quick then I just make a knot all right and then when I start crocheting it together I'll show you that when I come back okay um one thing I want to make sure that you understand at the end of this knot pull it tight keep it tight like that and then start your next one and when I do the next one try to show you close up I just push it up underneath there like that and then I pull that one through I know that probably sounds crazy but when, then I pull it tight and the reason I do that is so there's no gapping in there you see that knot so from that knot to the next knot I put my finger there I get my next strip get my next strip okay honey and then I take my finger and I pull it through there like that and then I grab the whole thing and pull it through. and that keeps me from keep it nice and taut and I pull it on the nice top see there and you'll see if you mess up you can just re rewind this part one more time Good. Tight. Pull it through. Yeah. Hold on, my husband's asking me for something. Let me see what he needs. And pull it tight. Yeah. There you go. All right, now once I get a whole bunch of them done, then I just make a ball. Uh -huh. I'm making my video, honey. Right. And so once I make my ball, it doesn't have to be a really, really big right. ball. And I'll crochet some more. So it's, it is a little time consuming, but it's so well worth it when you see the finished product. And it's very useful. It's a great gift. It doesn't cost you any extra money to buy the plarn or make it just your time. You see all these I put together? Probably should have counted how many strips this was. Mm -hmm. That ball. There we go. So now the hook that I'm using is an end hook. Uh, and uh, I'm just doing all single crochets. Yes, now you can do um, doubles if you like or half doubles, but it's, it's, it's uh, really pliable. It's just really sturdy. You know, this is just with this right here, crochet hook. In the single crochet. Love it. So my bottom. And I did a just a regular yeah. circle till as big as I wanted my bottom. And then I stopped. And uh, to go up, I went in the back loop. And then I just kept doing single crochet. Yes, All right. So, and then, like I said, you just do a single crochet. And at the end of here, I'll add a... Um, picture or a little video of the finished product because I'm going to make a drawstring in it and um, some straps probably at the end. But this, this video is basically just to show you what you can use with um, grocery bags. And if you didn't want it, grocery bags, you just want it clear, you can actually buy for garbage bags and do the same thing. So thanks for watching and I'll show you the finished product at the end. Okay, now this is the next day, and I'm getting tired of doing these single crochets. So I've decided to go to double crochet, and I changed the hook size. So I went to an I. And so for these three rows, I did an I, and then I've changed to a, a J. No, I went to a J, and now I'm on an I. Cause I wanted to pull it in a little bit. I don't want it to be too wavy. And these are all double crochets. My main concern was that the bottom of the bag would be pretty tight woven so stuff wouldn't come through it. 
and the rest of the bag can be a little holy. That's okay. So I'll come back and I should be up as about as high as I want it. And literally, I don't know how many bags, over 100 bags probably I've used. I've got a whole nother bag over here where I cut up about 20, 30 more bags. So these are in here and ready to break down and make into balls. <clears throat> so hopefully that'll be enough. And then I still have to decide on what kind of strap I'm going to put on it. So it kind of depends on what it looks like when it's done. But like I said, the pattern, I just, there's no certain pattern. Just as I get to the colors, I put them in there. Alright, so I'll be back. Like I said, when I get closer to the done. Alright, this is day three, and I have completed the bag. And I put a drawstring through it with just a nylon thread that I had. And I weaved it through. And with this position, I have it kind of drawstring closed somewhat. And let me open it up. Now, this is with it open. <sighs> A lot of work. The bottom is round. And I'm going to get a, um, go to Dollar Store and get me a mat, like a, uh, dinner plate mat or something. And I'm going to glue that in the bottom to give it some support. So, I can wear it like that. Just put a bow in that if I'd like. I made this thick enough just to kind of carry on my arm. My little dual camera is not working too good. Boy, you guys, I'm still sitting in the hospital with my hubby over there. He's supposed to be leaving today and going into rehabilitation. I probably told you he had a triple bypass surgery. So this is really one of my pastimes sitting here seven, eight, nine hours. Uh, I work on projects. And so I completed this one. So I hope it encourages somebody. All that is is a double crochet and sit. Well, the bottom part was single, this is double, and the handle is half double. This one is a little more strength, but I think you're going to love it. I can't tell you how many bags I used because I didn't even think to count. Uh, I had brought some more bags today, thinking I might have needed to break down some more. But uh, if you got a lot of bags, great project. And... Uh, Maybe once I take it on the trip, I'll take some pictures of it and add it to to this video. But I want to go ahead and get this video up so that I can encourage somebody to make it. Wonderful, wonderful. Nobody will ever be the same. But thank you for watching. And as always, be best because you are best by the best. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hi.